Welcome to Salvo Sanas. Guys, this house sold for record price and in record time. Come on inside, I want to show you all the beautiful details. Talk about creating a wow factor in your front entrance. Well, here's a few tips. Just look around this room. They've done a fantastic job creating so much excitement before you even get into the house. And I want to start off with the floor because this is a very unique design that they've done. Instead of doing a slab of marble on the floor, they've integrated the hardwood with a porcelain and they have a gold inlay kind of bordering the porcelain tiles, which is absolutely fantastic because it creates so much drama. So bang, when you walk in through the door, you look at the floor and you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait to see what else is going on in this house. And to finish off this part of the house, look at the beautiful light fixture above me. I've done this light fixture a few times in my projects before in different spaces, but never in a foyer. And I really like how this turns out because it really creates an elegance as well as a wow factor. And guys, this just in itself is so beautiful. And to top it all off, look what's to the right of me. Look at this beautiful built-in they've done in here. They've created almost like a vanity area where you can sit down, put your shoes on with double closets on either side. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. If you're a lover of brass, this house is the perfect house for you because it's loaded with brass finishes, which I absolutely love as well. But you're gonna get a feel of how elegant brass details can be in a property. So against the white, the CC30s, they've done the brass details. We have a beautiful stone top counter, and I love this fluting that they did under here. And this is pretty much just to hide like little keys or little knickknacks that you don't want laying around the counter. You can hide underneath and nobody will know it's there. And then we have a beautiful integrated custom mirror on the wall with LED lights to just finish it all off. This section right here just in the foyer with so much information. Guys, this house is phenomenal. We got the photos from the builder, posted it on Instagram, and I've never had so much amazing feedback because there's so much, there's so much beautiful information. So when you walk into the house, you walk into the grand foyer, which I already showed you, then to the left of the foyer is the living room. So this room was a little bit of a controversial room and we weren't sure if we want to show it off as an office space or a formal living room. But again, I always say, look at your area, look at what's needed and what people want to see. And in the area that we are in, where this house is, they need a formal living room because guests will most likely be entertaining quite a bit. So we decided to do a living room setup here and it's a little bit different because you have a nice built in here, but it worked out really nice because I was still able to use my extra long sofa, two accent chairs, rug, linear coffee table, nothing too big, nothing too overwhelming to take up too much space. There's still flow and you can walk around it. And then I had this beautiful, well, empty wall to work with and we decided to do an oversized art to really give it some wow factor. Because as you can see, everything is light, everything is neutral, and this guy right here gives it a nice pop, a nice contrast in the room, and really makes you go, oh, ooh, I like that. And one of the things I did was I used all of the colors in here that you see throughout the whole house. So we have the navy blues, we have the whites, we have the golds. A little bit of black you'll see here and there, just a little for some contrast. But this room is your living room. You have floor to ceiling windows, which gives in plenty of natural light for during the day. Absolutely stunning. I love this room. Let's move on to the dining room because it's just as spectacular. The floor plan of this room is really well thought of, I have to say and including the dining room that I'm standing in right now because I was able to do a rectangular table, 96 inches with eight seating spots for the guests, which is perfect. I wouldn't do more than this because then I would be cluttering up the space. So we used a rectangle table with the brass base, 
glass top just so that it's a little bit more airy. I could have done wood, but I didn't want to stop the room. I wanted your eye to kind of flow because right behind me is the front foyer. That's where you're coming in from. So this is the first thing that you see. And what a view with this spectacular, beautiful, oversized chandelier. So I have to say, this house is a little bit more transitional. It's not so traditional because I do see a lot of contemporary elements some of the pieces are very clean looking some of the finishes are very neutral but then you have some elaborate pieces like this with your lighting which really takes it towards the traditional side so we decided to do more contemporary slash transitional pieces and we accessorized with our two arrangements of flowers i told you guys i took that piece of artwork in the living room and I used it as my starting point and I carried it throughout the house from the dining room to the great room that you're gonna see. So all of the colors are flowing in with each other from the beginning of the house all the way to the end. And this is very important when you're styling a house to sell because you wanna create a feeling, you wanna create emotion for people when they're standing in every single room. You want them to be attached to it and remember it by certain things. Like for example, your color coordination. So we decided to do an eight by 10 rug and this rug is absolutely perfect for this room because you'll see that it has a lot of the gray tones in it on the background, the beige tones, as well as the gold. So I have all of the colors I've used in the room also on the floor and it's picking up from the hardwood to the rug to the furniture and then all of a sudden the accessories. One of the cool features of this house is the dining room has curved walls and we don't see that often. Usually builders just finish it off with the 90 degree angle walls, but you'll find here that you might not be able to see it, but I can show you. See how every angle of this room is curved, which did create a little bit of a challenge for putting in artwork, especially on this side of the wall, but we had to stay on the flat side and not use the curve. So we decided to do two of our art pieces here, which gives some contrast to the wall. You're not just white walls everywhere. We did our artwork, we have a mirror on the other side, and we have all of the brass details going throughout. So this is our dining room. It's pretty spectacular, it's pretty grand. Again, when you walk in from the front foyer, it's like, oh, I love it. <laughs> Well, talk about a moody powder room. This is a perfect example that I can show you of how to create something really different. And it could be as simple as really just your wall color, which they've decided to do a dark midnight blue paint. And guys, if you're interested to know more about paint colors, we just did a video on my top paint colors and if you want to step out of the box a little bit and do something different, be sure to check out this video on the paint colors because it'll definitely be a good guide for you. So going back to this beautiful powder room, we have the very dark walls with paneling. It's not just drywall. You have beautiful paneling on drywall, which is perfect choice. You don't have to MDF the whole thing and then paint it because this itself is beautiful and elegant. And then they decided to do a porcelain sink, which is a fantastic idea. However, you don't have any drawers. So this is a powder room. Guests are using it. They probably won't need to be hiding anything or you won't be need to be hiding anything in your sink here. So something like this, that's stationary, no drawers or doors, is perfectly fine. It's clean looking, very contemporary looking in here. I wouldn't say so much transitional. I would say it's more of a contemporary bathroom with all of the brass details that we've seen throughout the house. And guess what? The blue, yes, it does go with my artwork as well. Stepping away from the more formal side of the house to the more informal side of the house, well, so we like to think this whole house is glamorous, I mean, from top to bottom. We're standing in the family room now, and this is an actually a beautiful space because you have so much natural light, you have so many big windows, and it's fantastic. I mean, you feel like you're outdoor. You guys know how I love my indoor-outdoor feeling, right? This is the perfect 
prime example of that because you have these oversized windows and I love how they did the arc on top. They didn't do just like a regular flat window. You have a little bit of detail which gives it so much elegance. I love this. It's so pretty. And then they have a beautiful fireplace here and they've done this with a limestone finish with the reveals kind of going through. This gives it more of a contemporary look, takes it away from the traditional side, more clean lines, lean looking. This is a fantastic idea. And then we have a small built-in on this side, again, carrying through the very light gray tones with the brass, perfect finishes. I tell you guys, this room was so easy to style for me. I had a vision for it right when I walked in for the consultation because it's such an open and airy space. You can really do whatever you want with it. So we decided to carry through the tones of the house. I brought in a little bit more darker furniture than the other side where the living room, we did the white theme. We decided to do a little bit more moody on this side because because again, everything is so white and it's so airy that even these dark pieces look nice and neutral in here. So given the size of the room, we decided to do two sofa pieces instead of a sofa love because it is a bigger room and I feel like a love seat would look a little bit small in this space. We did an eight by 10 rug, again, carrying through the gray and the white theme. And I feel like it gave it a lot of contrast, gives it a little bit of pop. Not so much colors in here, more neutrals. I've played the tone on tone with the grays and the brass and the beiges and the whites. We did our brass rectangular coffee table. Again, it's glass top and I like that because it's not stopping you. There's not a solid piece. Your eye kind of flows through the room, which again is important when you're styling a house to be sold. You don't want people to feel like it's a small space. So something like your coffee table will make all the difference when you do a solid top or if you do a glass top. Then we finished off the room with two of our barrel back accent chairs, which are in a different fabric than the sofa because the sofa is done in an ultra suede. These ones are done in more of like a linen-y finish, a little bit more casual with beautiful decorative pillows. I decided to bring in a little bit of black in here just because again, I felt like it needed that little bit of contrast with the dark finishes. So brought in some black, again, the dark gray, which suits the sofa, and then some of the white, which brings it in from the rug and the accessories. We accessorize the wall unit with some brass and white details. Guys, check out this beautiful light fixture above me. We recently did this same light for my client. We did it above the bed and it turned out fantastic. I think you guys have seen that video with our day in the life. Uh, if you wanna use this in a bedroom, be sure to check out that video as well because you'll get to see what it looks like in a bedroom. It's a fantastic piece, very versatile. I feel like this piece can work anywhere in a dining room, over a table, in a living room like this, keep it high because you don't want heads bumping into it, or a foyer or a primary bedroom, really any space. And it's such an elegant piece. Great pick on the light. Well, we always say the kitchen is the heart of the home and that is very true in this house as well. Not only because of its size and its glory, but because of all of the beautiful finishes. And yes, it does have wolf appliances so that makes it extra luxury so let's get back to the finishes guys because i am in awe of this beautiful kitchen i mean yes it does help that there's big windows everywhere kind of creating a nice airy feeling which makes everything feel that much softer but as well they did a fantastic job in choosing their colors i love this owl gray by benjamin moore that they picked on the cabinetry with all of the beautiful brass details which really makes it pop against this paint color beautiful paneling it's all recessed mdf you have beautiful countertop finish with the gray veining over the white. You have some very minor gold details which reflect off of your light fixtures and all of the hardware used in the house. This kitchen is fantastic. I love it. They didn't miss any detail in here. So what we did was styling it, we added a little bit of pop of color here and there with our accessories. We used our moss, we used some of our dried pieces just to give it a little bit of color. So some yellow, which reflects all off of all of the brass used in the house, 
some green to bring in some life in the room. It's important for photos. It's important when you're having your walkthrough for people because they want to feel like it's natural. They want to feel like it's home. So it's important to create that with your accessories. We did our white bar stools. I didn't do the brass anymore with these because I felt like it was gonna be overflowing with brass everywhere. You can overdo brass most definitely. And I feel like because it's already in the light fixtures, it's already in the furniture and the accessories and all of the hardware, I wanted to break that up a little. And guys, that's why it's important to definitely mix your metals when it's needed. Well, double doors to your primary ensuite? Yes, please. Guys, this house is fully loaded with all of the special details, like this one, what you see behind me. But I'm not gonna go there yet because I wanna show you what's happening in the primary bedroom itself. This room was so big, we could not just fill it up just with your headboard and nightstands. We had to do a whole seating area on the other side. This house is full of natural light, guys, and I love it because of all the floor to ceiling windows. It definitely helps out a lot. So when you're doing the building phase, your planning phase, make sure you have a lot of windows floor to ceiling because it does make all the difference. What we did here was, again, we had all of the natural light color walls going on. We needed to create some contrast and some drama. So we did that with our gray headboard, as you can see, and I did my distress nightstands, which are nice because it brings another type of element into the room. And we did our beautiful lampshades, which are also done in a gray, but have some brass details, which reflect off of the light fixture here. This light fixture is one of my favorites. I've actually done this in an office before over a desk. And again, it's one of those versatile pieces that you can use in any space. It is a little bit small for a dining room, so you have to make sure that you have the right space planning for it. But over this bed in the primary bedroom is pure perfection. So then, off of the bed, we decided to do a love seat here because you can definitely have more space than just doing two accent chairs or a bench. So we did our love seat, we have our eight by 10 rug, we did a nice coffee table, accent chair. You have a big, beautiful built in here with a fireplace. I mean, which bedroom is complete without a fireplace? This definitely does the job in completing the room. So we decided to do a nice, crocodile reptile fabric for our accent chair just to give it a little bit of drama and all of the accessories guys this room is phenomenal you can have a whole party in here it's so big let's move on to the primary ensuite come on inside this primary ensuite is out of this world so we have double vanities here. Instead of doing one single vanity, I guess they decided the double doors were very important to have. So they did one on each side, which is a fantastic idea. Gives each person their own privacy and their own space. You all know we need it sometimes. They did the double sconces along the mirror, beveled mirrors. Guys, this is important when you're doing mirrors. If you're not framing it, make sure that you bevel it because it just finishes it off really nicely, okay? And then we have a freestanding tub with this beautiful light fixture here. And I know that you guys have seen this light before because I've done it twice once in the brass finish, once in a black finish. The brass finish, we did it at the condo in my day in the life, and we did the black finish at my cottage over the bathtub, and both of them are stunning. This one works out really nicely in here because it goes with all of the finishes. It's light and airy, but then so elegant and delicate at the same time. And the floor, guys, this flooring is phenomenal because it's busy enough not to scare you away. I mean, look at all this beautiful veining. You have some light blue tones, you have gray tones, you have the gold tones and the white tones, which really pick up all of the colors that have been used throughout the whole house and put here from the floor all the way up in the walls. 
And while you're here, let me show you this beautiful stand-up shower that we have here. Again, done with the brass details. But check this out. I mean, it's nice to go neutral, but then sometimes neutral can be a little boring. So you might want to consider doing something like this with the veining, which keeps it busy enough that you will not get tired of it later on. This is just pure elegance all in one room. I love the finishes. I love the color coordination. Everything just flows really nicely together. I hope we were able to inspire you with this project. And don't forget, if you like anything you saw in here, you can definitely find it on the Like to Know It app, at Style with Sanas. Make sure you check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And we have a lot more content coming up your way. For now, we'll see you next time.